y'all, it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today we have a fun tutorial for me. I'm going to show you from start to finish how to use the Glitterflex Ultra Pressure Sensitive Adhesive, how to set up your Cricut to cut it, and all that fun kind of stuff. So, what you're going to need for today's tutorial are your Glitterflex Ultra, and this is in the shade Rainbow Rose. You're also going to need your high tack or super tacky um, transfer tape, your item that you're putting it on, which I purchased this cup from Bubbles and Bliss, which is a store across the street from me. They were running a sale for $5. I will link them down below. I'm not sure if they still have any or not, but I'm making this for my mother-in-law and thought this was absolutely adorable. Again, I purchased this with my own money. You're also going to need alcohol. This is denatured alcohol. I purchased this in the paint department at Lowe's, but you can use just your regular alcohol that you use to clean wounds. It's just something to make sure all the oils are removed before you apply your vinyl. That helps with adherence. You're also going to need scissors, your easy weed and wooden pick, and a squeegee. And I'm going to show you how to import in the monogram that we are using, but if you need a full in-depth tutorial on how to create the monogram, I have one for Silhouette. I have one for uh, Cricut Design Space. I have one for Corel Draw and also for Inkscape, and those are all in either the Corel playlist, Inkscape playlist, um, those types of things. And remember, if you're interested in purchasing the vinyl or the pick or the squeegee or anything like that, they are available on our website. Um, use the code Be Mine. It is through February the 14th. You save 14% on your order. You don't have to purchase the rest. We appreciate it when you do. We just did a sale because we hit 90,000 subscribers and we love each and every one of you and y'all helped get us here. So I figured it was some a way to give back on the things that y'all were interested in purchasing so you could save a little bit of money. But other than that, give me a moment to get the camera angle changed and I will show you everything that we are going to do today. Okay, for some reason my microphone was not working at this portion, so the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is lay our vinyl onto the Cricut mat. Now, because this is a pressure sensitive, so it is a sticker or adhesive vinyl, you do put your glitter side up. So it is pretty easy to line up onto your mat, smooth it out. Very, very simple to do. Now I'm going to go ahead and load it into my machine and press the Cricut button so it does send it to cut. Now I do recommend doing test cuts before you go ahead and send a big project because if your blade is dull or if you're, it's new, you wanna just make sure that it is going to go ahead and cut correctly. Now, I typically use the Glitter HTV settings, but I do up my pressure to the more. Instead of less or average, I keep it on more for this because it is a thick textured material. And as I was showing you how long it does take to do the cuts and things like that is very, very simple to do. So, it's cutting through. Now give me a moment and I'll change the camera angle so that way you can actually hear the rest of the tutorial. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this down. Now um, we started refilming because we were having an issue. I'm not sure if my audio messed up or not, so we'll just have to see. So we're trimming around this. Now the rest of this is gonna go in the scrap box. So as you can see, whenever you look at it from the back side, you can see the lines of where it cut. So now we're just going to weed it and weed it slowly because there are tiny little pieces. Okay. Like the little tails of the letters. Okay. 
break that off so I can see what I'm doing. delicate because it's tiny so you have to be very very gentle with it now if it's not such a delicate lettering it's not such a big deal but I have to make things more complicated than what they are Just like on the other side of the M, go very slowly. And again, this material is a little bit more difficult to work with, but the end results are worth it. Okay, place that back down. As you can see, it's not really the centers that are difficult. It's just making sure those little fine, tiny points, which can be difficult whether you're doing this kind of vinyl or with regular vinyl. It's a little bit difficult to see on the backing. Okay, so remember that that will also be included or probably something similar in the kit. So now what we're gonna do is trim this down. Now they do have um, some of these that are still the heavy attack that have a little bit different backing color. So if you order this from us and it looks a little bit different, don't worry, it is still the high tack. Okay. And the protective coating on this is super duper thin, so to me it's always difficult to get that started. There we go. Static. <laughs> okay, so now I have all of that covered and squeegeed down. Now what we're gonna do is take some of the alcohol, spray the backside, where we're going to be putting the monogram. Okay, and I typically like to lay a cup in my lap. That seems to be the easiest way for myself personally to make sure it is centered and straight. And then we remove the backing slowly. There we go. So now it is stuck to the adhesive. Place down, centered. There we go. Squeegee it down. And we're just going to remove the application tape. Now again, I would not use this application tape though for your regular vinyls. Okay, 
Now, you see where that little curly cue lifted up? I'm going to take my pick and just walk it back down. Now, this is not dishwasher safe. This is hand wash only. I like to take my felt edge of my squeegee just to make sure not to scratch up the vinyl or to remove any of the glitter because it is a pressure, it is a textured glitter. And there we go. Look how cute that is. Now remember, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. And if you hit the notification bell icon next to it, that will notify you when we post new videos, which is every single weekday, Monday through Friday. Other than that, check me out on all my social medias, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as my second channel, which is just Betsy Gocher. I do all things makeup and Disney and all kinds of fun stuff over there. So I guess that's it. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.